let us discuss some environment science question from your prelims 2021 examination okay now here we have a question from the food chain okay question from the food chain so consider the following kinds of organism copepods cyanobacteria diatoms foraminifera which of the above are primary producers in the food chains of ocean so we know that producers means they are producing the food for the they are producing the food for the ecosystem right because they are having chlorophyll so as part of the ecosystem you might have studied about the phytoplankton right so you might have studied about the phytoplankton because phytoplankton is one of the important area of upsc here they have given the cyanobacteria and diatom these two are examples of these two are examples for phytoplankton because both are having cyanobacteria and a diatom both are having the chlorophyll so they are phytoplankton they are example for phytoplankton and in the options we know that only two are the answer right so it will be answer will be two and three c uh, b two and three so here in our classes we discussed about the phytoplankton and here in this picture you can see uh, cyanobacteria and diatoms are here okay so diatoms and dinoflagellates diatoms and dinoflagellates are the major types of phytoplankton and other varieties are cyanobacteria then diatom dinoflagellates blue uh, green algae okay these all are some examples of phytoplankton and copepods means copepods are a kind of crustaceans they are kind of crustaceans okay so copepods are small crustaceans found in the aquatic ecosystem both in the fresh water and marine water you know about crustaceans right prawns crabs krills these are example for crustaceans so copepods are also a kind of crustacean so they are not producer and foraminifera it's also a, it's a single celled organism right it's a single celled organism so only cyanobacteria and diatoms are the primary producers here so here are the examples for phytoplankton cyanobacteria diatom dinoflagellate green algae coccolithophore this all are example for some example for phytoplankton right out of this diatom and dinoflagellates are the major types of phytoplankton so here is a question from the natural vegetation from the biomes from the forest types okay now the question is like this the leaf litter decomposes faster than in any other biome and as a result the soil surface is often almost bare apart from trees the vegetation is largely composed of plant forms that reach up to into the canopy vicariously by climbing the trees or growing as epiphytes rooted on the upper branches of the trees this is the most likely description of and they have given coniferous forest dry deciduous forest mangrove forest tropical rainforest so whenever we study about the biomes the natural vegetation or the forest types we will study the features or the characteristics sticks regarding the respective biomes right here all the all these features mentioned are the features of tropical rainforest we know that tropical rainforest is found in the tropical region and tropical region we have the warmer conditions and more rainfall also right so when we have warmer condition there will be more bacterial activity so we know that bacteria are the main decomposers right so in tropical region we have faster decomposition and this tropical rainforest is found in the tropical region so decomposer faster than in any other biome so tropical rainforest is having more decomposition because it is found in the tropical region right in tropical region we have warm condition and moist condition where we have the warm and moist condition we will be having more decomposition so that is one that was one feature of tropical rainforest and trees was the dominant species in the evergreen forest apart from that the uh, epiphytes epiphytes is also a main feature of the tropical rainforest because we know that tropical rainforest we have closely packed trees on that we have creepers and climbers guys in the question itself they have mentioned about the climbers right so climbers creepers epiphytes all these are other components of the evergreen forest so the answer for this question is d tropical rainforest so here you can see we have discussed about the tropical rainforest its features and all like this we have discussed all the biomes natural vegetation now here we have a question from the animals right so they have given hedgehog uh, marmot pangolin to reduce the chance of being captured by predators 
which of the above organisms rolls up or roll up and protects their vulnerable, vulnerable parts. So, we know that pangolins were in use several times because so much of illegal smuggling of pangolins was happened in India, right. So, you may have studied about this Indian pangolin because whenever a species is mentioned in the news, you have to study about it, right. So, we also discussed about Indian pangolin here, right. So, regarding the pangolin, it is a kind of, it is a scaly skinned mammal, right. So, it is a scaly skinned mammal, they are also called as ant eaters. So, whenever they are in danger, whenever they are in threat, whenever they face the predators, they will curl into a tight ball, the pangolin, Indian pangolins, right. So, we have Chinese pangolin, Indian pangolin and all. So, we know that pangolin will curl into a tight ball, so the, we uh, eliminated A and B. Now, we need to know whether a hedgehog curl into a ball, right, because already marmot is eliminated. So, marmot means, simply means, they are kind of rodents. So, marmots are kind of large ground squirrels. Marmots are a kind of large ground squirrels, ok. So, already we have eliminated second option, right. So, hedgehog. So, some people may be knowing about hedgehog, some may not be knowing. So, for that I have funny information. Some of you might have watched this movie Sonic the Hedgehog, right. So, from this movie you might have known that hedgehog is a kind of animal which is like, which is resembling the, which have some resemblance with the propokine, right. So, this is the hedgehogs, ok. You might have heard about the propokines, right. So, they have small tiny spines, ok. So, this hedgehog, they also curl into a tight ball. They also rolls, roll up whenever they are in danger, ok. That is also shown in that movie, right. So, answer for this will be D1 and 3, ok. Pangolin and hedgehog, both will rolls up to form a ball like structure in order to escape from the predators. So, answer is D1 and 3. Here, we have a question from the nutrient cycle, ok. So, the question is like this. In case of which one of the following biogeochemical chemical cycles, the weathering of rocks, the weathering of rocks is the main source of release of nutrient to the, to enter the cycle, ok. So, as part of the nutrient cycle or biogeochemical cycles, you might have studied about carbon cycle, nitrogen cycle, phosphor cycle and sulphur cycle. And by that, you might have studied that both phosphor, phosphorus and sulphur, their pool is in the rock, right. So, we have rock phosphate and rock sulphate. So, both are present in the rock, right. So, reservoir for this phosphorus and sulphur, we have both rocks. So, the answer for this question is C, phosphorus only, phosphorus cycle, ok. Now, In the phosphorus cycle, you might have studied that phosphate is found in the, phosphorus is found in the rock like this and by the weathering, that means because of the wind or because of the rain action, that means by the weathering, uh, the phosphorus present, present in the rock will weather down and it will introduce to the soil. Now, we have soil phosphate like that. So, by this form, it is entering to the cycle and like this, rock sulphate also doing the same thing, ok. But here, they are asking that main source of release of nutrient, right. Both sulphur and phosphorus, we know that it is found in the rock, but they are asking main source of release of sulphur and phosphorus, right. So, this phosphorus is only found in the rock, ok. It is not found in the, not found in the atmosphere as gas state, ok. It is only found in the lithosphere, in the crustal region. So, but sulphur, Sulphur is found in the atmosphere also, ok, because we know that sulphur oxides are there, right. So, that is why the main source of release of nutrients, phosphorus is the weathering of rocks, ok, because phosphorus is having the land part only, lithosphere part only, sulphur is having both the lithosphere part as well as atmosphere part, why, because phosphorus is not is Phosphorus is not found in the atmosphere as gas state. That is why weathering of rock is the main source of release of phosphorus. So, the answer is C, phosphorus cycle. 
now here we have a question from the animal kingdom okay so they are asking what are detritivores okay they have given five names of animals organisms living organism and they had asked which of them are detritivores so detritivores means they are heterotrophs heterotrophs okay heterotrophs means they are depending on others they are getting they are obtaining their nutrients detritivores are heterotrophs who are obtaining their nutrients by consuming the consuming detritus detritus means detritus is the decaying decaying parts of decaying parts of uh, plants and animals so decaying or decomposing parts of plants and animals is called as dead detritus that means dead organic matter right so those organism who are eating on the detritus dead matter is called as detritivores okay here without go, without knowing and all we can get the answer how we can see here sea horse right so we know that sea horse is a marine fish right it's a marine fish okay here you can see the sea horse picture so this is sea, sea horse so sea horses are marine fish that means they are depending on the earth they are a consumer so by eliminating sea horse that means four from the a b and d we can eliminate a b and d because all are having four in them right so that's why we can eliminate a b and d and we will get the answers c 1 3 and 5 that means earthworms millipedes and wood lice these they are the detritivores okay so let us discuss about this all animals so jellyfish are free swimming marine animals who comes under the nidaria category nidaria phyla okay so jellyfish are under the nidaria phyla and they eat on the other organisms and wood lice uh, millipedes means they are arthropods okay here are the millipedes and here uh, sea horse we already discussed wood lice means these are the wood lice and they are kind of crustaceans okay so wood lice they are mainly found in the woods old woods that's why they got the name wood lice so we know that wood, wood is a dead, uh, dead organ matter so it is feeding on the uh, dead organ matter right so the answer for this question is earthworms milliped and wood lice they are eating on the dead organic matter okay so that's all for today thank you